somewhere in Dixon, Kentucky. Amy, I ain't been your size since I was freaking 12. But think about it. You were hurting back then too, Tammy. You, you don't, don't have, have the same I struggle wrong. I do. I wish I could get up and do more for myself. Try being my size, Amy. You don't know how it is. There's stuff you can do. I'm not saying You just that. don't want to do it. You need to register it in your damn head. There was a little bit of tension that was raised when the sisters began arguing about which one of them was the most unhealthy, which is kind of an unusual argument to have. The reality is they're both really unhealthy and they both really need to have weight loss surgery. The Slayton sisters, Amy and Tammy, need to lose weight to qualify for gastric bypass surgery with Dr. Proctor. Amy succeeds at her goal and she's approved, but Tammy does not. There are a lot of reasons for this, but we'll be taking a look at some of the key differences between their attitudes that played a role in their success and failure. Attitude simply refers to your general approach toward life. Certain attitudes promote goal attainment, general life satisfaction and happiness, while other attitudes immobilize us and make it extremely difficult to change our behavior. From the beginning of their journeys, the sisters show big differences in attitude, and it starts with where they place their focus. Amy seems to be really excited about the opportunity TLC has given them to get weight loss surgery. She's enthusiastic, she's positive, and she does everything with a great sense of humor. Amy seems to be looking forward to and focused on all the good things this journey is going to add to her life. I am ready to start my life. I'm ready to have my baby. I'm ready just to be happy. Tammy, on the other hand, seems to be more focused on what she's about to lose, namely unhealthy food. Throughout the show, she's constantly expressing loss-related fears and doubts about the weight loss process. So what do you think of these changes? I think we're gonna get bored of it for a little while. Food is a comfort. It's like your friend. So when you're on a diet, it's like losing your best friend. I'm a little worried about meeting with a dietitian. When you're used to the grease and the salt, healthy food is scary. Motivation is at its peak, pre-weight loss journey, before any of the hard work has begun. This is when most people are really excited about all the changes that are to come and they're dreaming of a brighter future. When we heard Amy speak to start, it was obvious that she was looking forward to change, but Tammy doesn't really share the same enthusiasm. For a 600 pound woman to be expressing all these fears about healthy food or giving up grease and salt, it kind of just shows that her head was never in the game to begin with. It's not a great start. <laughs> this next clip shows the sisters talking about something as trivial as giving up their diet their diet pop, but listen to how differently they feel about it. How hard is it going to be for you to give up your soda? Not really that hard, I guess. I think it would be because that's what you used to grabbing. It's quick and easy. Amy seems to be caught off guard. She's not thinking like that, whereas Tammy is just laser focused on the difficulty already. Tammy is very much focused on everything she's going to be giving up in this journey. And this next clip is a good example of that. I predict that we're going to get some healthy options in the house, but Amy and Michael are going to slip away and I'm nervous that Amy's going to eat things she shouldn't be eating, but yet I'm stuck in the house and I can't eat it. This is Tammy pre-struggle, pre-hard work, pre-cravings. This is where her head is at. She's afraid her sister is gonna go out and cheat on her diet and she can't cheat too. That's what she's afraid of right now. This is where Tammy's focus is at a time when her motivation and her enthusiasm should be at an all time high. Making a change requires some degree of loss. You have to give up something in order to get something better. Tammy's thoughts and emotions are locked in on this loss, but locking in on that is not gonna help you get to where you wanna be. Whereas Amy is dreaming of a brighter future. She's excited, which is how you should feel at the beginning of your weight loss journey. The hard work has not begun. <laughs> the sisters display very different levels of effort towards their goal. When the sisters first meet with the doctor and dietitian, they're asked to lose weight to qualify for weight loss surgery. I need some buy-in from you guys. I need to understand that you guys are all in and you're gonna make the same kind of commitment, okay? So I'm gonna see some weight loss from both of you by the time you come back. I want you back here in a month to check on your progress. We're ready to lose this weight. I know we joke around too much, but we're really serious. Yeah. I want you to know that. 
In addition to losing weight, Dr. Proctor asks Amy and Tammy to start living a healthier lifestyle by moving around more, finding a pool to get some regular exercise, and eating healthier food. Amy does more than she's asked. She goes swimming before they even get back to Kentucky, she signs up for a personal trainer, and she takes the doctor's and dietitian's recommendations very seriously. This is the first meal after we met with the dietitian. I want to get things right. Amy takes a proactive role in changing her life, and she accepts that hard work and difficulty are part of the process. This clip does a good job of showing how differently the sisters view and approach this change process. I'm just worried I'm going to be hungry. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, I mean, there are days that you're gonna be hungry. I mean, like, until your body get used to eating it, you're gonna be hungry. What I'm hearing here is Amy acknowledges and accepts that there are going to be hard parts and that if she wants to succeed, she's going to have to push through them. Tammy, on the other hand, seems to be saying she's only willing to try until she feels uncomfortable. Tammy does the bare minimum of what Dr. Proctor and the dietitian asked of her. If that. She sneaks cakes when they're throwing away their unhealthy food in the kitchen. She's asked to move around more, yet sits in her chair to clean. She bends the rules by eating 12 mini-sized bags of chips and claiming it's okay because they're healthy chips. You ate all these? These are healthy chips. They're low calorie. Yeah, but low calorie don't mean no calorie. <laughs> When Tammy can't get into the pool because of the presence of three stairs, no what she says that. is revealing. Six months from now, I hope that I'm, I'm making into a pool. Tammy hopes to get into a pool in six months. That doesn't make sense because her opportunity to get gastric bypass surgery expires in 30 days. Tammy just showed us that she never had any intention of doing what it takes to get to her goal all along. And in this next clip, she shows us that again. Dr. Parker suggested I start being more active. I don't know how confident I am that I can do that right now. Tammy is passively engaged in the process. She's kind of just hoping it works out. She doesn't seem to see the connection between her actions and her results. Whereas Amy, on the other hand, blatantly says, I'm going to do everything in my power to do what he suggests. Amy is embracing the process, whereas Tammy is resisting. This is the difference between someone who's ready and willing to change and someone who feels like they're being forced to change by their circumstances. In general, Tammy's perception of effort is very flawed. Listen to her idea of trying. I think it's low for me because I'm not making enough right choices. Well, you know what you got to do to change it. Well, one, I need to give up all the fried foods. At least most of them. No, all of them. I'm trying. There is a huge difference between giving into temptation for fried food in the moment and blatantly saying you won't even attempt to resist it while insisting that that's your best effort. That's you trying. For me, this just shows that Tammy doesn't feel like she has any control over herself whatsoever. And she's more comfortable just not really exerting herself than actually trying and getting hurt in the process. Among other things, Tammy doesn't seem to have a shred of hope that she will ever lose weight, and she definitely doesn't believe that she controls any of the outcomes in her life. If you watch my video on the victim mentality, you know that the degree of effort we're willing to exert toward our goals is closely related to how much control we feel we have over the outcome. And obviously, the more effort we're willing to put into something like a weight loss journey, the more success we're ultimately going to have. Throughout the show, and as they try to lose weight to meet the deadline, the sisters are faced with many disappointments and difficulties along the way. Amy and Tammy respond to problems very differently. Amy's response to disappointment and difficulty is to work harder, to commit more, to double down and keep pushing toward her goal. But the other day, we went to the junkyard to weigh ourselves. And it was a big disappointment. Now, I am determined I'm getting this surgery. We're all kind of disappointed. We didn't lose the weight we're supposed to lose. But I'm going to continue doing what I do now 
and I'm gonna amp up the workouts, I'm gonna amp up the diet, I'm gonna amp up everything. We're going back to Dr. Proctor's in a month, so I gotta keep going, I gotta lose this weight. I'm gonna do everything in my power to get approved for surgery. Tammy, on the other hand, isn't quite as resilient. We've heard from both Amy and their mom that Tammy has a tendency to give up easily. Tammy gives up a lot. If she sees that she doesn't think she's gonna make it, then she just gives up. Side note, if you watch the show, man, the mom is the worst, huh? Holy, she's brutal. Anyway, this next clip happened after Amy and Tammy decided to go for a walk by the pond to get some exercise. Tammy took 10 steps, she was in pain, she decided not to continue with walking with her sister, and then this happened. I wanna give up because I can't do more and because of Amy. Obviously, that was an unreasonably dramatic response to what happened there. To even have thoughts of giving up because you couldn't walk to the pond doesn't really make sense for an adult. And obviously, Tammy has some pretty major psychological issues well beyond the scope of this video. But what we can take from this is Tammy's knee-jerk reaction is to give up whenever she encounters any sort of difficulty. And obviously it would be very hard to succeed at anything if you just gave up whenever it got hard. Listen to Tammy's language. I always love looking at people's language because I think it reveals a lot about them. It's definitely not the language of perseverance or resiliency. There's no way. I can't. Sometimes I feel like a victim. I wish I could get up and do more for myself. You just go work harder. I try to. Children are taught not to talk like that, not to constantly say, I can't. And it's for good reason, because when we do that kind of thing, it actually reshapes our view of who we are as a person. In the end, the sisters had very different outcomes. Dr. Proctor felt that Amy had proven herself and she was approved for surgery. I don't think you thought you could, but you did it. I'm proud of you. Come on, have a seat. It was up to you to make these changes in very little time. And you met the goal that we asked for. I'm happy for you. I'm excited for you. This is going to be a new beginning for you. But even though Tammy lost a little bit of weight, he felt that she wasn't quite ready to change and she did not get approved. Last time I was here, I was 600 pounds. And I need to get down to 550 so I can get approved for the surgery. Tammy was a long way from meeting her goal. I know she's upset and I hate it for her, but it illustrates the fact that she doesn't quite understand and isn't ready to make the changes that she needs to to meet her weight loss goal and eventually have surgery. Tammy's attitude throughout the show virtually guaranteed her failure. She was focused on all the wrong things, she wasn't willing to put in any hard work, and she gave up as soon as things got hard. Amy, on the other hand, was positive and resilient, and her determination ultimately resulted in her success. There are patterns and traits that stay constant in success and failure. That's the point of these videos, really, to look at the underlying trends between those who succeed at their goals and those who fail. Our attitude toward life and the way we approach things determines our experience and very often our outcomes, which is actually a very good thing because attitude is one of those rare things in life that we can actually control. A disclaimer, obviously there was a lot more going on with Tammy than just a bad attitude, but all of that psychology is beyond my scope or the scope of this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.